Hi you guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Josie or Josephine if you guys are new here. I am a professional freelance makeup artist as well as a online beauty guru, whatever you wanna call me. Brushes are my favorite thing to use. I feel like you're either a sponge girl or a brush girl and I'm definitely a brush girl. I have also made my rounds in the beauty space working wise, I guess like kind of like retail wise you name it and i guarantee you i've worked there so i know a lot about different brands of brushes i know what i like what i don't like and also since i work on clients i know it works good on like other faces and what feels comfortable using on other faces as well as using on myself so i'm going to give you guys the inside scoop on what you need and everything is going to be linked down below so if you guys are interested in anything prices links all that stuff check the description because i always fill it out completely foundation brushes if you guys are new here, I love foundation brushes. It's like the one thing that I'm just like extremely passionate about. I have turned so many people on to using foundation brushes, specifically when I worked at MAC and Morphe. Girl, people would come in and they'd be like, why isn't my foundation look like this? How come it doesn't look like the girls online? Like it's not full coverage or whatever. And I said, listen to me, I promise you, it's because you're not using a brush brushes like this specifically so this first one right here is the it cosmetics love is a foundation brush this is my love i love this brush i've had it for literally i have to say four years i got it back when i was working at ulta literally like four years ago in arizona and at the time actually there was a huge sale going on and employees like we got a discount so i got this for a really good price but i honestly truly really would pay the full price for this it's a little bit pricey but it's totally worth it girl i've had this for four years and look at this nothing is falling out like none of the bristles are loose the barrel isn't loose and these brushes are not made cheap girl also when you first get it the little um it's like shaped as a heart you guys can kind of see it right there but since i've used it so much it literally just turns into like a circle girl this blends out your foundation perfectly to velvet perfection full coverage no streaks oh my goodness i have not seen this brush shed once in the four years that i've had it i wash this every like week and a half to two weeks and i've had it for four years and look how beautiful and sturdy this is absolutely 100 percent recommend this if you guys have a like foundation that is just not working for you guys it's not like full enough coverage or like whatever it may be try a foundation brush specifically this one and i promise your whole makeup routine and life will change love this guy love it so much the other one that i really like is this one right here this is the molly o'brien m015 this one has a little slant i specifically like to use this one on clients i don't know why girl i feel like because kind of when i'm using it and i'm like working on clients like this since it's at a slant i can really see like where the product is going and i can work around that if you know what i mean this one isn't as dense as the it cosmetics brush um, but it still has like those synthetic hairs that are really closely packed together. Um, it's a little bit more flimsy, so it's seamless. I feel like this isn't also the best quality. Like this feels a lot lighter. This is beautiful. I mean, girl, look at that. Um, this feels lighter in um, weight, but seriously, like every time I use this, every time um, I have it like in my rotation of foundation brushes, I love using it. Also like using this at a slant, bring it down your neck so satisfying love these two these two are must have foundation brushes for sure like, still in like the face category but it's these guys the first one girl i hope i hope i have put you guys onto this if you guys are subscribers of mine and you watch my videos you know this is my beloved morphe e8 brush this is for the under eyes this is for concealer great price point if you guys didn't know when the morphe brushes start with the e like this e8 e13 a18 whatever it is that means they're from the elite collection so a little bit more pricey but they are better quality so in my opinion it's worth it because they last a little bit longer so it's all the um, brushes that have the red bristles at the tips just in case you guys were wondering this brush blends out your under eye concealer to perfection i promise you will not regret getting this this is like a mini full coverage beauty blender on a stick I, and like the length of this is perfect it's so long and when you're like blending out your under eyes it just blends everything into absolute flawlessness i promise this is not a brush you will regret buying if you have to take like one thing away seriously one brush away from this whole video it's this morphe e8 
trust me, trust me, your life will change. If your concealer isn't full enough coverage, if it is um, giving you like weird texture under your eyes, whatever it may be, try this. It will eliminate it. I promise you, and you will have the smoothest, most flawless, full coverage under eyes you've ever seen. My life changed when I started using this. Switch from a sponge to this. I promise you girl I promise this this brush is where it's at this is the only brush that I use under my eyes and also on my clients I don't use sponges for concealer under my eyes on clients I only use that brush even if I'm using like a light coverage concealer maybe for somebody who's more mature or just wants more of like a natural like glowy look I will use that um, morphe e8 brush Perfection doesn't matter what formula of concealer it is girl. It works with all and of them. keeping along the cream range We have this brush right here. So don't be scared because it is not a Sephora brush girl This is a dupe. I actually found this on Aliexpress. I'm not sure if you guys are into that um, If you guys like dupes or anything like that, but if you don't Skip past this because this is supposed to be Sephora number 47 pro foundation brush So that's what this is supposed to be. I'm not even sure how the real one looks Honestly, it probably might not even look like this at all But specifically when I was looking on um, Aliexpress I saw this one and look how small this compared to like the slanted foundation brush I showed you earlier. Can you see how much smaller this guy is? This is so amazing. This is synthetic um, bristles right here. So it's amazing for cream products. If you guys didn't know, in my opinion, I think natural hair brushes pick up powder better, like um, powder bronzer, powder foundation, under eye setting powder. They pick up powder products and work on the face better, whereas synthetic brushes like this work better for creams and liquids, um, with the exception of a few. But most of the time, that's kind of how I like to like use my different brushes if you know what I mean stamps it on the face perfectly and it's super small so you can get that nice precise um, precision when applying cream bronzer because sometimes I can go overboard girl I can really go overboard I love products like makeup in general so I can just get really happy and just start like slapping it all over my face this really helps it keep like keep the um, product controlled and where it's supposed to be and it blends it out perfectly absolutely like that angle girl right there Flawless amazing. You could also use this under your eyes as um, Conceal it like a concealer brush if you want to get it out like blend it out really fast girl It'll do it in like two seconds. It'll be blended out. So again, this is like three dollars Of course, it's gonna be linked down below girl. So if you're interested highly recommend this Sephora dupe brush is this LA girl 108 brush this is dirty because I've used it. Um, I actually used it today and a few other times before this. So this is supposed to be a foundation brush, but it's a little bit smaller in size. So I like to use this as cream bronzer. Um, since it is smaller, like I said, I like things that are a little bit more controlled for the um, bronzer area, just so I don't get like out of control. This brush is so nice. It has, again, that little slant. It's a mini, I feel like it's like a small, mini kabuki brush and these bristles are nicely packed in there but they're medium to high density in there so it really picks up the product deposit it deposits it nicely and just blends it out to perfection if you have like acne scars along your cheeks or any like discoloration hyperpigmentation anything you want to cover up use a brush like this as a um, cream bronzer brush and it'll really just pack on the product to the point where it'll actually give you coverage and it'll cover that up so you don't have to like cake on the foundation and the concealer and all that stuff and this guy this is the morphe e49 so it's a perfect like paddle tulip brush so i love to use this brush right here under the eyes to set or to brighten up like if it's like looking a little bit dull perfect on clients too i specifically love this for clients but on myself too because these bristles are so soft under the eyes since it's such a delicate area you want to make sure everything is like nice and flowy and airy this brush is perfect for it it's the perfect size to really get it on there um typically under the eyes i like to do a baby bake situation where i use a sponge with a loose powder and i'll really just like do a baby bake pack it on there and if i'm doing makeup on a client more often than not, I'm not going to bake their under eyes unless they're going for like a super full glam look, which most of like the people that um, like most of my clients don't want like a super full coverage like me, which I get. So I like using this brush to kind of dip in some loose powder, RCMA no color powder, tap it off and then blend it on their under eyes. And it's perfect. It sets it just enough, but not too much. So it's like not cakey. If you have somebody with more mature skin, use this um, like as a under eye, like the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. Use this to pat it under their eyes and it gives you the most 
perfect application without putting too much product under the eyes. So now we're gonna do blush and bronzer brushes. My favorite, all time favorite bronzer brush, Molly O'Brien M016. This is a small domed synthetic brush. So this is kind of how I like to use it. So obviously this is completely clean. I haven't used it for a few days because I wanted to film this video and it's been really hard for me not to use it because I love this brush. Like I really, really miss it in my collection. Um, so what I do is I'll like take my bronzer or whatever and I'll go on the side and I'll dip it in like this on the side and then I'll go in and kind of like blend it all over my forehead, cheeks, whatever. So I really like to use it at an angle no matter which side of the brush because since it is like literally like an oval circle vibe you can really manipulate it how you want and um yeah i feel like the bristles are really flexible so you're really like allowed to do that with this brush also if you wanted more of a like diffused look not so like um precise application you can dip in your brush like this at the top and then tap off the product and kind of go around like this more in like a circular motion and that'll give you kind of more of like an airy like airbrush vibe not so like chiseled and intense so for clients i have two these are like completely different brushes that I, then i like to use on my face so first one being girl this is an investment this is a mac brush i know i know but the time the whole time i was working at mac the one brush that i just couldn't like i would have my brush belt we would have to leave it at work or whatever i would literally go home thinking about this brush because i'm obsessed it's like 42 dollars i think i know i know but it's so good, it's so good. So the, it's so good, you guys, I love this. They actually come out with um, these brushes in the limited edition um, collections that come out with all the time. So if you want like a cute one, I have like a pink and a gray one too, but this is just the original. They're glued in the barrel very low. So you have a lot of wiggle room with the brushes, if you can, with the bristles right there, if you can see. This gives a beautiful sheer wash of color all over the face. So I like to use this as a bronzer brush on my clients because of this flexibility with the bristles dipping into like that product you can really just give a sheer wash and it's not going to look crazy i understand that my makeup like the makeup that i do on myself is it's similar like you could tell when i do somebody's face you're like oh that's a josie look you know what i mean and i love that but i don't go as hard like i like to do a lot of blush on my face a lot of bronzer that's just me just because i love makeup but when i'm doing makeup on clients i want it to look like effortlessly glam if you know what i mean and this brush gives that to me i need this in my kit at all times if i don't have it i miss it and i feel like the makeup application on the clients is just not the same i love this if you guys are professional makeup artists i highly recommend looking into the mac 135s for bronzer or even like a setting powder like a sheer wash a setting powder so good i cannot rave about this brush enough at mac when i would do people's makeup every time they sit down in my chair at mac and I'd bring this out to do the bronzer. They say, what brush is that? And I'd say, I know, it's bomb. They'd always say how soft it is, how good it looks. It's it, girl. It's $40, I know, but it's worth it. And the other brush that kind of gives the same vibe, I know it looks like completely different, is the Jaclyn Hill, um, Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH14. Same sort of vibe as like the bristles are glued in to the barrel very low. So they just have a lot of, look at this. This is like, Oh my god, this is so flexible. This is going to give you the sheerest wash of coverage. Like, that's why I like this because sometimes if you're just like, you know, we were doing makeup, right? And then you step back and you're like, okay, I don't have enough blush. You could take this brush, since it's not super dense, dip into whatever blush you need, and then just kind of like back away from the mirror and then blend it on top. So you just kind of get that sheer wash all over. You know what I mean? love using this on clients for that exact reason just because it gives you like an airbrushed look here i like to go in at a little bit of an angle like this you can really manipulate the brush and go in blend it all over i love this i am so happy that i have this brush um there is like some shedding and fraying with this brush but i'm not gonna lie girl that's with all morphe brushes you're paying a little bit less but you could get more brushes you know what i mean it's not as good quality as some of the other brushes that i mentioned but Girl, it's there. I've had this probably for two and a half years and it's only shed a little bit. Like, I feel like the bristles just come out really like easily, but I just love the effect that it gives. And for blush, this is a recent fave. I know, I know this is like 
jumping the gun, I guess, but it's literally like the name has already wore off. This is from the Bratz Makeup Revolution collection. I do believe they still sell this. This comes in a pack, I think, of three. I love all three of them, but specifically this one right here. You could use this for so many different things, girl. You could use this for bronzer. You could use this for blush. You can use this for under the eyes to like whisk away anything, but I specifically love this for blush again I like to use all my brushes almost at an angle like that and just to like put on blush it's literally the perfect oh my god it's the perfect everything the perfect size the perfect color are you kidding me this hot pink I mean that's not hot pink this hot purple bristles this hot, <laughs> these hot purple bristles with this hot pink barrel is my life I love this too Randy items to talk about. This one um, literally has lash glue on it. It's like a mess, but this brush is something you guys need. The e.l.f. Jelly Pop Stipple Brush. It is tiny, it's like a normal brush. It is like literally like a mini, like a medium size brush. It's not mini, but it's medium. So if you guys don't like, um, I feel like some people don't like holding smaller brushes, but girl, I don't mind. This is such high quality, such high quality brush right here. What I love using this for is Skincare. I love using um like makeup skincare, not like my nightly skincare. I love using this on clients because that since this is a stipple brush, it's not like a normal stipple brush. You know how stipple brushes usually have like two very distinct layers, like they'll have like a shorter layer at the bottom, and then they'll have more of like the like longer bristles coming up at the top, right? And that kind of gives you more of like a controlled, like you can really control the coverage like with those stipple brushes. But with this one, the hairs that are coming up at the top are very close to the bottom layer, which I love because putting on like, for example, I love applying my Wishful Thirst Trap Serum with this because it is those very, very synthetic bristles. So it doesn't harbor any product inside of the actual brush and it really just allows, every, allows everything to glide on. Applying moisturizer, since it's like a nice size, you can really just do it super fast and it's really just like airy and like kind of like slappy, you know what I mean? This, this looks like a mess right now. I know because I just used this for my under eye like brightening powder, but this is my Dosa Joe's Lashes sponge. These are $5.50 on my website. It's always linked down below. I love this sponge. Like I told you guys in the beginning, I am not a sponge girl, but my sponges are my sponge. Like this is my vibe. So this is probably about 75% wet right now because I just like wet it so long ago and so it's kind of dry, but this is what it looks like right here. It's just pink and white marbled and then it has my little emblem stamped inside there this right here is the perfect consistency the perfect density between like the morphe um the morphe red sponge which is way too hard girl i hate that sponge I hate it. it's so terrible and a real beauty blender so if you guys have a real beauty blender they're very airy and they feel just almost like when you wet them like they don't feel damp at all and I don't really like that and then the Morphe sponges girl those just feel like a rock like you can literally hear it slapping yourself in the face this is the perfect stiffness for controlled application and coverage but it's a perfect like softness and like squishiness to blend everything out seamlessly I love using this to apply my Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base I love using the butt of this going in there and just applying it all over the face also I like using this like you can probably see um, I always use a sponge to bake under my eyes I don't use a brush I only use sponges to bake under my eyes and my smile lines to brighten up girl you could do you guys know you could do so many things with this the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the dual ended um, eyebrow brush now I don't use the brush side because I don't fill in my brows I only do soap brows but you guys this is so annoying I know it is but this spoolie is the best spoolie for doing soap brows I promise you it is small like you guys can see it is way smaller than like a normal spoolie it is very stiff like these bristles are very hard but it's that's literally what you need for soap brows. So when you're like going into the soap and you're like mixing the soap or whatever, this creates the perfect paste and it doesn't get too stuck in the barrel. If you guys have, um, if you guys do soap brows and you guys use like a super big fluffy spoolie, all the soap is going to get harbored inside of the spoolie and it's not even going to deposit on your brows. Whereas this, since the, um, since it's so small and it's not very deep, the bristles, it really just stays on the outside of the, um, bristles and you can coat your brows so easily shape them out 
not only that literally so easy to clean just take like a makeup wipe or whatever wipe it off and it's completely clean I need this brush if I don't have this spoolie my I swear to you my brows do not come out the same this is the um P Louise acid rain yellow brush girl I don't know what this is I think this comes in a kit I got this in um gratis when I was working at Morphe a few years back beautiful amazing perfect stunning I use this to clean up underneath my eyebrows and on top that's all I use it for and then you have this sounds so gross but you have like product in there like concealer or whatever and you can really like pinch the um brush together and make it super skinny like that so that way I literally like I'll dip into like my concealer or whatever and I'll go like this and it stamps on the line perfectly so easy when you have good brushes I'm telling you they do the work for you just use the brush like manipulate the brush and the shape of the brush and I swear your makeup will be so easy to do and that's exactly what this guy does for me now keeping along that acid rain um, collection I also have the orange one this is the best eyeliner brush ever like a detailed eyeliner brush just eyeliner brush period I love this bent um, design right here because on myself specifically like my hand is my mirror and I'm doing my eyeliner since it's at this angle right here it really goes with the curve of your eye so you can still see the mirror whereas like if I'm using like a flat brush I kind of have to like do like this and then like my arms all weird and then sometimes I like can't see what I'm doing it's probably just me but I like a bent brush like this also these bristles are so small this is like so thin but it has just enough bristles packed in there to give you the control that you need. So if you want to get like a tiny wing, you just do ding. It's so small and you can just like bring it back in and just give you like a flawless, flawless eyeliner application. This is terrible. I'm going to find one that's similar because this is from like one of the rose gold collections. This brush right here, this is like a tapered bare paw brush, if you know what I mean. This is pretty flimsy. I don't like these like tapered blending brushes to actually like blend stuff in my crease because I don't know I just don't like the way they do but what I do like about this is how long the bristles are is I use my pigments with this brush like you guys probably if you guys are here from TikTok you guys saw that TikTok of me applying the pigment I'm using this brush I always use this brush for my pigments because right now this is a new pigment that I'm coming out with by the way this pink sparkle I used it with this brush what I'll do is I'll take some glitter glue and then I'll tap it on my eyelid let it dry for a second and then I'll dip into my pigment in my little pot, tap some off, so that way you get like a sheer wash of sparkle on the brush. And this brush is going to evenly disperse that pigment into a beautiful fairy dust of translucent sparkle on your eye, girl. Now, if I were to use something that's more um, like dense, like a concealer brush or something like that, it's going to give me like high opacity on my eyes. Like I could do that with this like pink sparkle that's on my eyelid right now. It would be like straight pink eyeshadow. You know what I mean? But since I use this brush and it's flimsy and it's fluffy, it really just allows that sparkle to be sparkle and just to be like there and like fairy vibes. This guy right here, please get this. Again, this is another one of those brushes, Morphe M05. I love this big guy. <laughs> He's like a big fluffy brush. I know this probably looks huge to you. Brush changed the game for me. I know it looks scary and big, but I swear when I started using this brush, it really just allowed me just to like let go of my eyeshadow. You know, sometimes we're just so like laser focused and we're just like everything needs to be like so precise and perfect. But when you use this brush, you literally cannot be like precise because how big it is. Oh my God. But it gives you that most beautiful, fluffy, like blend of dust like um and your eyeshadow will take your eyeshadow to another level it will make it smoky it will make it blown out even if you're just using like a bronzer in your crease to give you some definition morphe m504 wait m504 use it trust me it will change the game you need a big fluffy blending eyeshadow like this eyeshadow brush like this in your kit and then we have the oh my god morphe r37 this is from the rose gold collection right here um love this brush this is a perfect size blending brush right here girl this is where it's at it's the same size bristles all around the brush right here so it makes for a perfect easy smooth blend this brush right here what i like to do is dip into like a darker eyeshadow on the tip of the bristles right there and i'll blend it into the crease and the tip of the bristles 
since they're a little bit longer in the middle, it's gonna get inside that crease, but then the outer bristles that are surrounding it are gonna blend it out beautifully into your transition color. Um, do a little bit of bronzer here and up the sides of my nose because it's small, but it's fluffy. So it'll like blend it out when it needs to, but keep it controlled where it needs to be. Another absolute, absolute must. I know this looks insane. Like, what is that? Why do you need that? Morphe M506. This is a tiny blending brush. If you don't have this, you need it immediately because it's so small, but it's literally like, oh my God, you guys, I'm telling you, if you guys could like see this in person, it's this Morphe R37 in a tiny, tiny version. This is so perfect for under the eyes, smoking it out, amazing. Super, super deep like definition in the crease, amazing. You wanna do a smoky liner? Oh my God, this brush right here, it's perfect. It is dense, it's small, it's tapered, if, you're, if your eyeshadow is like not giving you the punch that you need, like if it's not pigmented enough, if it's not just like standing out like you want it to, you need to add more definition and you need to add more definition with a brush like this. This will change your life. Also, it's really nice for adding um, shadow in the inner corner, doing a little bit of highlight here and here. So many different things you can do this brush with. Okay, so that's all of my brush recommendations. I have so many more, but I really had to narrow it down to the ones that I truly, truly love and stand by. I hope you guys learned something new about brushes. I hope you guys found something that you might want to pick up. Let me know down below what your guys' favorite brushes are because I will try them out, girl, especially if they're dupes because I love a good deal around here. But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for being here and subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!